I'm Deborah Simkin King. I'm the founder and conductor of Scola Cantorum on Hudson and its subsidiary ensemble, Ember. And we are so excited to be performing at the beautiful Bosco Bell House and Gardens today. Uh, this is our first performance after lockdown for COVID-19. a small portion of our singing membership and this is the first time you have heard the first public notes that this group has sung since the quarantine in early March. We are so thrilled to share this moment with you. My name is Anna Wilson. I'm a performer in New York City and I've been involved with Ember since about 2017. Being that most of my profession is classical singing, I was pretty hard by the COVID-19 pandemic. And to be invited back for a live performance with a group that I cherish so much has been a really big deal. Um, as far as precautions that have been taken, everything's been thought of and nothing has been left to chance. There's just been an incredible amount of thought placed into this. And I felt really safe every step of the way. So I'm really proud of how this group has handled this and taken on that challenge. Hello everyone, my name is Gilberto Gomez and I've been involved with Ember since 1999, I believe, when I was in high school. Um, then I went off to college, to conservatory, and I've been traveling overseas now for work. But ever since COVID hit, I've been homebound in New York City, and I'm so happy to once again start singing with this amazing ensemble. It really feels amazing to be singing with Ember. I truly believe they're setting the standards uh, for safety singing during this pandemic. I used to be in a choir, but now, because of COVID, I can't. So I miss music and theater. If you can do it safely, it needs to be done. We can have fun and take precautions, right? So, you know, we went into this with our eyes wide open. We went into it slowly. Uh, we have a lot of singers who said, you know what, not me yet, I'm just not ready. And we ended up with a balanced group who were ready. You know, it's challenging. We don't have any kind of um, containment for the sound, and so it just kind of, you know, they, we have to work the voices differently so that they can resonate together well. It's, it's a, um, I mean, it's quite a challenge. I just wanted to share with you, when we were discussing all the protocols that we would have to put in place to come back together to sing, I was discussing it with friends at work, and they said, is it really worth putting, potentially putting our lives at risk and my answer was for singing and for this group, absolutely, it was worth everything. And I don't feel that we put our lives at risk at all. It was refreshing, the music was wonderful. We appreciate the safety protocols and yeah. celebrating life how we can celebrate it today. So thank you to all of you Ember Ensemble people. Thank you. Our audience is safe, the singers are safe. And the best part of it is we're bringing forward the live art that touches people in the place that makes us all the same. And we're so excited to be back performing live. I believe we're the first one on this, in this part of the country.